everybody so welcome back to Tashi's world of books and this week we're gonna be doing this is my monthly favorites So this is a new kind of video that I'm going to be doing. I had asked you at the beginning of the year if you would be interested in seeing some of my products that I've been using that have been making my life easier. And you guys overwhelmingly said yes, you wanted to hear about my monthly favorites. And so I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about, you can see I don't have any of my makeup on. I have a fresh face. Everything is nice and clean. And um, I want to talk to you about a moisturizing product that I found that I have absolutely been loving and it has been giving me everything in terms of like moisturizing, hydrating, making my skin feel a bit more youthful and helping with some of those fine lines and things that we want to kind of keep at bay that creep up. So the first thing that I want to talk about, first I love the packaging of this. These are like my package, you know, my products. So I've been using them for a while. But this is a product called City Beauty. And they have a, a huge array and an assortment of different, and I'll link everything in the, in the description below, a huge array of different types of products. They even have a really amazing retinol system that they're completely sold out of right now. We're waiting for them to come back. But I love the packaging on this. Like everything has this really pretty blue and gold. And so it looks really nice sitting on your your vanity and it just I just like how it looks so that's just number one the packaging is amazing number two when you order any of their products you're gonna get these like little cards that come with it with each product that you're ordering to explain to you um, so for example this came with the city lash I'll explain that in a minute it explains to you how to use the product what it's for when to apply it and so you keep these on hand to kind of refer to as you need them Okay, so the first product that I want to talk about is this is I Revive um, Firming Serum, and I absolutely love it. And I apply this in the morning and at night, and I just, it's like a little dab will do ya. Can you see that? It's like so tiny of an amount. And what it does is it firms up any kind of fine lines or any kind of signs of aging that you have around the eye area. And I just kind of just apply it very lightly, a tiny, tiny bit, and I kind of let that set in a little bit. And it really does help with any discoloration, with any, any fine lines, anything that's showing any kind of aging that you just want to like really moisturize and hydrate. And it's like, you know, for puffing, for darkness, any of that, it does amazing for those. These are the only products that I have found that really work well for me. And I've searched high and low and spent, you know, minimal costs and maximum, you know, higher cost. And this really does like come sort of in the middle of all of that. And it's like I said, it tells you like for best results, how to apply it, it tells you what it's good for, and I really do think that it helps with any darkening or puffing, puffing in the eyes, especially if it's been like the weekend and you've been out later, or you haven't gotten as much rest, that's amazing. So I let that set in just a little bit. Then I move over into a line blur or a wrinkle filler. And for me, again, a little dab will do ya, tiny bit, and I just apply it to these sort of fine lines that I have, my smile lines, if you will, that are around here that I want to kind of just erase, if you will, does amazing job. So I put that on there and I let that set in. And then I move into the Uplifting Serum. And the Uplifting Serum really does tighten. So you put it on and you leave it for 30 minutes and it really tightens your skin and sort of helps to erase any kind of fine lines or anything that you're seeing that you want to vanish under your makeup. And I'll kind of put that on and I just rub it in and I'm telling you I've been using these products for like at least 45 days and I've seen such a tremendous improvement in my overall health of my skin and then the last um, product that I use you know and I put these on back to back this is the multi-aging sculpting cream and this sculpting cream is really like your moisturizer and again I just kind of get that all in 
and I apply this twice per day as part of my daily skincare regimen. And I don't know if you can see, like already my skin feels smooth and hydrated. I've used a number of products that after I put them on, my skin feels dry, it gets flaky, I get dry patches. I have, I don't have oily skin, I have dry skin. And this is one of the only products that I have ever used that makes it feel like hydrated and smooth and like my skin is like shining and it looks really hydrated and so I'm so pleased with it. I cannot speak highly enough. I'm not being paid in any way for this. I just want to share like some things that I'm absolutely loving. And then the last product is City Lash. And as you get older, sort of like your eyelashes start to get, and I've worn like lots of like, you know, false eyelashes and the whole thing and I've noticed like changes in my eyelashes. And this is one of the only products where I get lengthening, where my eyelashes are actually like legit growing and they're like lengthening. And so when I go to put my mascara, I can see a difference in terms of what my overall lashes look like. So this for sure. And it's just, you know, one little line that I apply over my lash and that's it. I just let it sit in. That's it. And I'm just gonna... And then the final product is for the decolletage and neck area and it is a ultra firming drying oil. And again, I just put a smidge, like not even, I probably did too much there, more than I prefer. And I just rub it in, you know, cause I want to sort of keep that area looking smooth and firm. And that is it. And I do that every morning and every evening. Now it, I do that and that's my morning routine. Now my evening routine is I use the decolletage area, I use the eye area, and then I do the um, multi-action sculpting cream. And I do that every night. And I have noticed a tremendous difference in my skin. So now I am going to apply the rest of my makeup. These are just fun products that I'm using that I found that I absolutely love. They're just, you know, nothing special about them. This is the NYX um, Concealer and Correct. And I use the this one to kind of reduce any discoloration that I have here. I use this one that color, this sort of beige, to try to neutralize anything. Here around my smile lines. You can see me blend that here in a minute. And then I use Instant Age Evacure, this one. I think I got it's an eraser. I just got this at like CVS or Walgreens. Right there. I'm not gonna do any contouring today. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna film a couple of other videos for you guys. And then I'm gonna use just Melanie Mills. I use this as like a bronzer, if you will. I love, don't need much today. I love how this gives me just a sun-kissed, sort of dewy, glossy look. It really works wonders for me and my skin. And it's like a little bit will go so far. I don't want to look glittery. And then I am going to move over to Primavera. This. give a little can already see like starting to make my skin pop love it I think today this is such an old palette I've had this forever this is Smashbox 
full exposure. I had it forever. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to go with the gold today. I'm going to have a little bit more of a glitzy look to match my jewelry. Again, I'm not going to do a tremendous amount of contouring today. Um, I'm just getting kind of dolled up to talk to you guys and to film. I hope that you guys like the content of these new videos that I'm doing and how I'm going about this. I'm just trying different things out. We'll see how it goes. I love doing this stuff. And so if you love it, I, 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 I'm happy to do it. And so then I'm going to go into my Kat Von D, my Shade Fight. And I've had this again forever. And I think I'm going to do some black in my, in my crease. I'm just going to dance that up. I'm going to clean it up in a bit. Not going to go too crazy. And again, like I said, I just want to kind of add things or talk about things that are just making my life easier. This is what we're interested in these days. Simple, right? But still creating a nice effect. And I'll clean that up a bit. Then, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna come back to my lids in a minute. I'm gonna do my, my brows. And the products that I'm gonna be talking about for this month that are my favorites are all things that made my life easier and that have enhanced it in some way and things that I want to share with you guys that I think that you'll really appreciate as well. I want to share the wealth. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, I just want to up a bit, that up a bit. Again, I'm using my Kat Von D. I'm just going to blend a little bit here. And if this part is boring to you, guys can always skip towards the end of the video to the other products because there's going to be a wide array or a wide assortment of different things that I'm going to be using. I'm going to come back to that here in a minute. Now I am going to use my Belle Beauty. I love this liner. Really, this lining pencil, it works. So I got my liner done. Now I'm just gonna go back to my Cap on D palette really quickly, just to touch up. Okay, so I just finished off my look with the cold, oh, the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline, old school. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish the look off with some lips. Yes, I'm gonna go with ColourPop, the lippy pencil. I color in my entire lip. I'm gonna finish it off with MAC. And this one is Amplify Girl About Town. Because I want to pop. And you guys, that is my overall look. I hope that you like it. So now I'm gonna hop to my next clip and we are gonna talk about some of the other products that I have prepared for you that have been working wonders for me and doing really well. And I hope that you enjoy them too. I'll see you over there. Hi everybody, so I'm back to share with you for my monthly favorites, another product that has worked wonders for me, and I wanna share that with you. And I've also been reached out, this company reached out to me to become an ambassador for them. So in the description below, there will be some links for discounts and introductory packets and things like that if you guys are interested. So let me say this, as I mentioned to you before, um, my highest weight was 220 pounds and I wore a size 20 pants. And it has been a long, long journey for me to get to a place of stabilization. And it's taken me this long to find a company or a product or a way of life 
such as the ketogenic diet. And the ketogenic diet is what really has helped me, at least for over the last five years, really sustain my overall weight loss goals, to find some maintenance and stability, and not really struggle with how to eat, what to eat, when I go to a party, can I eat that, can I not? Like I just know if I stay away from carbs, if I stick to like a Mediterranean diet, if you will, meats and cheeses, creams, those kinds of things, and stick to that kind of diet and stay away from like any kind of processed foods, anything that has carbohydrates, and then find like little snacks and, and things like that that help me with cravings, then I'm going to be more likely to stick to my diet. And I've been on a ketogenic diet for about five years and I have had no cheating and really great success. So I stumbled upon this product through like on YouTube and hearing about it from other people and this is Keto Chow. So I put up um, several of their different mixes that they have and you can get individual packs like this that are one serving or you can get a big bag like that's a multi serving. This one is Snickerdoodle, vanilla, chocolate chip mint. You can find strawberry, you can find pina colada, you can find eggnog, you can find pumpkin spice. They come out with all different types of flavors, depending on the time of year that it is. They also have, you know, like daiquiri, and they came out with a new one that's like licorice, black licorice, red licorice. Like they just have a myriad of different um, products that you can find that will suit your taste. You can also mix any of these into breads and cookies and snacks, so they have recipes for those or you can use them as a meal replacement shake, like I tend to do. And they also have hot mixtures as well. This is a savory chicken soup. I absolutely love it. All the instructions are on the back. You also get an instruction card that comes with it. You literally mix it with 14 ounces of water, your choice of fat, and your fat choices can be coconut oil, butter, heavy whipping cream, and whatever to however much you add of the fat source is based on your macros. So you'd have to figure out your own individual macros. You put in that amount of fat and you blend it up. And the longer that you leave it in the refrigerator, the more incorporated it becomes and the better it becomes. Now, of course, when you're working with a hot mix like this, all I do is, and I found that if you mix the heavy whipping cream with 14 ounces of water, put it in a blender, and then put it over the cook stop top stove. It comes out with a really creamy, rich chicken soup. I absolutely love it. I tend to eat it in the evening as a meal replacement. I can mix it with chicken cubes if I want. I can mix it with cheese if I want. I can mix it with onions. You can make up different types of recipes with this, and it really does work out very, very well, and it's so filling and so rich. It's absolutely amazing. So I thought today we would make up a batch, and i show you how we do that. So with each of your Keto Chow purchases, you get a tumbler or Keto Made Easy, and so I know that I tend to do well with about, it starts out at a minimum fat content of 26 milligrams, and you can work your way up. So I have my trusty scale here. I weigh everything out on my scale, and this has different measurements. It has ounces, it has grams, it has milliliters, it has liters, it has so many different functions, so I absolutely love it. So this is already set to milliliters. So I think with this one, I am going to put in 50 ml of heavy whipping cream because that works for me. And you're gonna use your hot water that's already pre-boiled and prepared for you because it mixes better when you do it with hot water. And so you add 14 ounces. Now you can go ahead and add your keto chow mix directly to this and shake it up. If the water is too hot, I find it goes everywhere and it makes, it gets crazy. So what I'm gonna do is add this to my blender. And probably if I was thinking, I would have done it directly over there in this and I wouldn't have had to worry about it. And this one that I'm making, oh shoot, I opened the wrong one. This one that I'm making is pistachio. And you can also mix this into an ice cream if you want. Like I said, you can make their recipes for cookies, for ice cream, for pudding. Like you can do whatever you want and you can have it as a snack if you just take one serving of whatever that recipe is, or if you're gonna use this as a meal replacement, then you would eat the entire amount. And this would all be consistent with your macros and consistent with your diet and still be on track towards working towards a ketogenic diet.
So I just blend it up. Doesn't take too much. Now, as I said, the longer that you leave this, usually what I do is I make these up first thing in the morning and I put them in the refrigerator and I leave them, I want all that goodness, I leave them all day and I drink it. So if I make it up at, you know, 9 a.m., then I leave it in the refrigerator until seven or so in the evening and that's when I go ahead and drink it. Other people tend to um, make it at night and you leave it overnight, but I have had them over a couple of days. Like I said, the longer that you leave them, the more frothy, thickening they become, and they are literally like milkshakes. They are so amazing and so yummy and so good. You will not even know, like it doesn't even like feel like you're, you know, having a meal replacement protein shake, like I said. And depending on the fat source that you like, I find that butter as a fat source is the absolute best. But like I said, you can also mix it with other fat sources like coconut oil or heavy whipping cream. The only thing that you want to make sure you do with this is that top has to click. And you put it on and then it goes in the refrigerator and it's ready to go for your meal replacement shake. So the other thing that, and like I said, I will put the links in the description below for 10% off, introductory packs. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway soon, so please go and check out Keto Chow. I'm telling you, it is definitely worth it. It's one of the best meal replacement shakes that I've ever had. And there also is an amazing chili recipe that I'll link below from our friends at Crazy, Two Crazy Ketos, that they use one of the Keto Chow mixes. It's a tomato base, it's a savory tomato basil. And I've made that chili recipe over and over, and it's an award-winning recipe. It's amazing, so, so good, so, so, so worth it. So the other thing that I wanna share with you that I actually use on a regular basis um, to help me with any kind of cravings or savory things to like get me through if I'm really like having a hankering for chips or something like that is I go to Hilo products. And you can get these at, I ordered them on Amazon, but you can get them at um, Costco as well. So this one is spicy nacho. This one is spicy salsa, and this one is just regular nacho. And they taste just like regular chips. Like I don't even recognize or notice that there is a difference when I'm eating these, and I will put these out. For example, if friends come over, I open up several bags, put them on the table, and people munch on them, and they don't even recognize, like it doesn't taste like a diet chip. It doesn't, you know, for a while I was eating a different type of a protein chip, and these are so much better. These are the best on the market. They also have a ranch flavor as well, and those are really good, and it definitely satisfies and hits that urge for a chip that I tend to get often, and I feel like I want something that, like, you know, cucumber or carrots or those kind of things. I'll do that sometimes, but sometimes I wanna, like, splurge, and I tend to save these for the weekend, like, on a Saturday or whatever, when I wanna kinda of open things up and not be so rigid with my diet, or on a Sunday, these are, like, a perfect go-to. You can whip up some ranch dressing and use that as a dip with these, or guacamole, or any of those. It goes well, or just by themselves. So, you guys, that is it for those products. I will jump on in a minute in another clip to show one more thing that has been so amazing for me for the month of January. See you over there. Hi, okay, so the last product that I wanted to talk to you about that I have been loving this month and it's been giving me, it's been assisting me, making my life easier, and my whole goal in filming these monthly favorites is sharing things that have been making my life easier, something that I've really been enjoying, a new product that I found, because um, I want to be able to bring that to you guys as well. And so for this month, my amazing purchase that I went ahead and got myself is my iWatch. First of all, I like, this is the Series 7, and I'm gonna go ahead and take it off, but I love that it like how it looks, it's really sleek, it has a great face. I chose 
the watch face, the traditional watch face, but you can change that and it can be any face that you want. You can download whatever face that you'd like. And I went, the reason that I went ahead and broke down and got the iWatch is because a friend of mine said, hey, like, do you track your steps? Like, do you know how frequently you're working out? Do you know the calories you're burning? Do you know what your goals are? And I said, no, I don't. And he said to me, well, do you want to participate in a challenge where like we compete and like, and it helps us stay on top of stuff? And I was like, hey, that sounds super fun. So that's what I did. And I went ahead and got it and we like, and I get it, you have your app on your phone as well as you have the app on the watch and it allows me to track all of my activity, all of my movement. It allows me to, so my standing goals, my exercise goals, my movement goals. It's gotten me to do walks during the day, which I typically don't do. I always have done my exercise on a regular basis, but it also allows me to check my heart rate. It allows me to do EKGs if I want to. I also love that, um, that it gives me, like it detects if I'm feeling anxious and it will tell me to take a moment to be mindful and to breathe and it goes through a breathing exercise that takes like one, you know, one minute to do and I just think that that's a great functionality of this particular watch. I also like the fact that I can send my results to my doctor and so my doctor can see what my EKG is, can see what my heart rate is. I can email it directly from my watch or from the app on the phone. So again, I think that that's amazing. I think that this is a great overall tool to manage your overall wellness, for example. Now, like if you're wanting for example, to track more of your like running goals or if you want more of like you want to know what your heart rate is and you're like more athletically inclined, then I think it probably is better to get another, a different type of a watch that tracks that. Um, but I think that for the purposes that I use this for and also because on my audiobooks, I love the fact now that I, I don't have to have my phone with me, although I usually have it on my in my yoga pants in my hip pocket. You know, I can be anywhere and with Alexa or with any of my apps that I'm listening to my audiobooks on, I've now got it on my watch and I can pause it, I can restart, I can rewind, I can do all of that on my watch and I don't need to have my phone with me. So if my son is talking to me and trying to get my attention while I'm cooking dinner and I'm listening to one of my audiobooks, I can just automatically pause it on my watch and I absolutely love that. And so then, you know, to go back to my movement goals, like I said, if I go ahead and track, I can look and see like this is how much I have accomplished in my day. And so as a result, I am standing more, I'm moving more, I'm adding other types of exercise into my daily routine, which has been amazing for my fitness goals and helping me to stay on track and getting ready for summer and doing all those really important things that I want to do because I have a young son and it's important to me to be healthy and to be taking care of my body and to just live my best life that I can. So that is my final product, the Apple Series 7 watch, and I'll go ahead and link it down below, has been a game changer for my activity. And like I said, I've already, am, I work out like six days a week, but now I go on a, like a two mile like walk, whatever, like three days a week, and that's amazing. And I would have never done that before if I wasn't participating in a fitness challenge and wasn't participating in a wellness challenge and didn't have the watch to keep me accountable. So that has been a game changer for me. So you guys, that is all that I have for today. I really hope that you like this video and I hope that you find some interesting and fun things. Everything that I discuss, I will link in the description below. And that is all that I have for today. And we will jump back into some book content and some new exciting announcements that I have coming up and some collaborations that I am doing and I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to share it with you. So that is all that I have for today. Do me a favor and hit that bell notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video which is generally Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And hit that like button because it really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and you guys have done a great job with that. So please continue or really, really appreciate it. And that's all I have for today. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.